Note to self. Not that I probably couldn't figure this out, but this is how this is supposed to be wired. This is the old one that I haven't taken the heating elements off of or anything. Uh, they definitely are worse for the wear. They're not broken, but they're kind of saggy. They do still have their spring, so they'd probably be fine. And I did get the motor out. Wasn't twice. Actually, the nut came loose real easy. Took a little bit more banging to get the. See the. You can't tell that I know, but well, you can kind of see it because of the shiny side on there. It just spins great. There's nothing wrong with the bushings. They got good bushings in these motors. Evidently, the windings are probably too thin or something. Can't stand up to a little. Use. Well, of course, this one's the one that lasted about 15 years. They look, you know, the same. Has a big copper. Yeah, I, th I don't, I don't really know. I read, I've been reading about, I've been reading about newer, different types of motors than these. So you can see the, some of the windings there. This one doesn't have it all. Yeah, it's tiny. It's not anywhere near. 24 gauge it's tiny tiny wires you can see uh, if I could hold the camera it might help some but I don't know if I can get it in a way there it's a little better you can see just how small they are um, I went back and did a continuity test on that other one after I rewired it you know to bypass the see this is and that's how it goes normally just to make sure I remember. Red one over there. Brown. I think it's both of them are brown. Yeah, brown. It's called brown. They the black down here. Of course, the main thing you want to just make sure your circuit goes where it's supposed to go. The colors ir irrespectful to the colors. Especially, you know, even with the same brand, sometimes they change colors with things. Nothing, there's no such thing as a universal color code. But people, even if there was, people wouldn't follow it. So. You gotta know, figure out your circuits, AC or DC, and uh, make sure you got what makes sense. If you don't have, know even the you know the basics of how something ought to be wired, then it's probably gonna be no just enough. Like me, I know just enough to be dangerous. Now I I know I know enough not to kill myself most most so far. <laughs> Haven't done it yet. So. Uh, that moves a lot. I think the other one does too. No, it doesn't. Okay, this one, I don't know if I can show that at all, but. There, you can barely see the armature and stator, and I don't know. Rotor, some people say rotor. You would think the rotor would be the part that rotates. Armature stator, I think, is really the proper. And I always forget which one's which. But uh, that will move. I mean, almost a quarter inch. And it's not because it's fell apart either. It's all tight. The other one. I don't know if I can show it. I don't think I have enough light. It moves about a good sixteenth, a little more of an inch. So the other one, the, the one that still wants to run a little bit, is uh, <coughs> it's got all that play in there, but it, it still wants to run a little bit. So. Thinking, did I just miss? Yeah, the, the, the newer one is more wrapped up. You can't see. Oh, well, yeah, there is a little groove where you can see the wires. One little groove. Like this one. It just, I guess, because it was so black. The other one's black and this one's white. I didn't notice it. But, uh, and see, that goes straight to your uh, red and black wires coming out. So, from what I remember, yeah, 
Your motor winding should not have an open. But when I tested it on the machine, you know, on the, the machine, it is a machine. When I tested it all wired up, it, it didn't, I didn't get any beep on either one of them. The one that's rewired and this one that's wired normally. So, if I had all this off, I would expect to get a beep. Either, well, it should get one either way, it shouldn't matter. Uh, well, I did have that on. Anyway, the other ones, you know, are wired independently of you know the thermal fuse is off so you're not going to get it that's a the, the the circuit's broken with that off but um the other one is not you know i had it wired direct so i think if i was going to try to save one i'd go ahead and save the newer shinier box so i'm going to take this one all the way off i think and leave it together other than just taking it off I'm trying to think of I think if uh, I heard something, oh, I think a, there's a cat that comes to visit. He likes to take a nap in the attic. It's a sweet little cat, though. It doesn't bother anything for the most part. Um, keep hearing all kinds of things going on. I think somebody's going to walk up on me, embarrass me making a video. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'll figure out. Uh, I want to try to test the motor all by itself without the heating element heating up. But I hate to go through a lot of trouble for nothing because I really don't. Even if I get this motor to where it would work, or you know, combine, like say if this is really worn here, take the uh, rotor, I'll say, out of the other one and put it in here. I don't know that it would matter. If it works, it works. But, uh,. Yeah, all that movement. That's a, a lot of movement. Um, but it spins freely as it can be. So anyway, yeah, you know, I might could combine the combine them to each other. They do come all the way apart. I might could combine them. And it's not that it came loose from, from you know, being the nuts off of it. So anyway, uh, I don't think. Well, I, I don't see anything loose. Don't feel anything loose. So, but if the windings in here were good, and actually, if the motor is good, it's good. I mean, that's. But it did didn't uh, want to. It didn't. It had a lot of trouble starting up. It didn't want to get up and going. So anyway, I want to try it out without the heating elements and see if I can end up with. But still, I need a thermal fuse. No matter what, I'd still have to spend about ten bucks getting a the thermal fuse. So then, all that after all that work, it go it probably go out again pretty soon, and I'll still be looking at what I'm going to do. So, anyway, I guess this is a good learning experience. Okay, bye.